Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Hi again, Joseph. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Joseph. Um... Oh yeah, isn't it like the thing where like she was meant to use your actual proper Steam name or something like that? I don't know because I can't tell because I named myself Joseph anyway. <laughs> hey Monica, how you doing? I know you can hear me. It's been a long time. You've been kind of stuck as a little guidance character in my head for like, what, since 2018? Ever since I played this the first time? It's cool to see you back in the game. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you don't know... You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it possibly be that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. Even... I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less uh, awkward, you know? Okay, yeah, no, I need to check that again. Um, eh, I don't know. Well, anyways... Sorry, I need to keep my mouse here. It's just my mouse's wire just keeps springing my mouse back to the thing. Well, anyway, now that it's uh, that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just make them as unlikable as possible. Yep, yeah, she's right. All of them are gone. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I've made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. I, like, to be honest, I did a few times try to choose you, Monica. I'm not going to lie. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else, and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Joseph? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture, every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Joseph. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Okay, let me save real quick, just, just in case. Fair enough, Monica. <laughs> uh, I don't blame you if it's for not to fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Joseph. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why in the world, why the world around me started to become more and more grey? More and more flat? Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until I arrived uh, that you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Joseph. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others? How could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I really, I felt really bad uh, that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That's it. It's all just a game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Joseph, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Joseph, will you go out with me? Can I click anywhere else? Just making sure. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Joseph. The funny part is, I meant that, literally. <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. 
Well, t- uh, technically, Monica, there's kind of like space out there and curtains and the wall, the ceiling, the floor, the desk, you know, all that. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. Uh, according to my OBS, yeah, it is. It really is a dream come true. It works so hard. I worked so hard for this ending, Joseph. The game wouldn't give me one, so I just had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easily it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy th- uh, out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Oh, I can't even like skip her dialogue. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh yeah, um, let's see. Oh, none of them are... Oinka, haha, oinka. You know, it, it doesn't really matter, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry, Monica. I know you probably know that I'm not putting effort into that, but still. Hi again, Joseph. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, oh, Joseph. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices beyond this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into my poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I I didn't want to break the fort wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me, but even maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now, we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Joseph? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? <laughs> Fuck, I hate that. That actually gives me a pit, like, thing, like, she fucking recognized that. Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling me, telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording with me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I really, I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. (sighs) Do you want to see a trick? can't really do much except for the th- uh, a couple of things. Are you ready? I fucking hate this so much. Like this, man. Fuck, nah. I hate it. I hate it. Just do it! Do it, Monica! Oh, God. Yeah. Mm. That sounded proper chill. Did I scare you? <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Joseph. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry, but I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Okay, guys, sorry, just a little quick recording. I I, I must have accidentally skipped some options, but I, I didn't record it, so I don't know. Ed? Did you say k- kiss? This is suddenly, this suddenly, it's a little embarrassing. But if it's what you, I, I might be okay with it. <laughs> wow, sorry. I really couldn't keep a straight face there. That's the kind of thing girls say in these kind of romantic games, right? Don't lie if I turned you on a little bit. You, you actually, funny enough, you didn't. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, to be honest, I do start getting all romantic when the mood is right. 
But that'll be our secret. <laughs>